Hello. How are you? I am good. I, I, I do think. So, how, what is do going think... on? You do play VR I... chats? Uh, two years? Yes, sometimes. Yeah, a little bit, yes. Yes. Is uh, you Green Lantern from movie? Uh, Ryan Reynolds? No. No. Uh, that is not correct. I am... Uh... Just chilling. Same. Relatable. <laughs> no, really. God. Anyway, you, uh... Okay. You want to get going here? Yeah, go for it. Alright, I'll do my intro. By the way, uh... I always say this, but uh, this is a camera system, so uh, see that camera right there? I, uh, it uh -huh. moves around as I touch oh, the button. Oh shit, that's fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, I know how to make do. worlds. Wow, so fucking cool. Yeah, I'm smart. Like idiots sitting here. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Welcome to my talk show, it's Lightning of Rebel. You. As me, I'm the host, that one rebel, and this is my guest, Falcona. Welcome. Tell everyone, Hello. uh, who are you? If you, if they don't know. Eh. My name is Falconta. I have been on the R chat for about two years now, and okay, I'm gonna drop this. And uh, I'm a part uh -huh. of the R chat roleplay community, mostly. Nice. That's about it. I love yeah. to role play. It's where you pretend yeah. you're something you're not. I pretend yeah, I'm a, a hot grill who fix car. But you are hot grill that fix car. True. <laughs> I'm actually a hot grill True. IRL. You can't deny that. True. I can't nor deny so. Yeah. Sometimes I, I wake <laughs> up and I wish I was a hot grill IRL. Wow, same. That's so relatable. Oh, wow. Don't worry, I win lottery, <laughs> I, I get hot girlfriend, she pretend to be me. Ooh, Easy. Then you do, you, you do face reveal. I do face reveal. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. <laughs> you funny? You know what's oh, funny? No, no. Uh, when I was a YouTuber, I actually did that. Like, no joke. No no shit, no bullshit. I actually did that. That actually fucking catfished everybody. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm not even Worst joking. Kind of person, Rebel. What do you? It was like it was like five years ago. No, seven years ago. Um, when I was a YouTuber, so I'll tell the story. Well, um, so for the longest time, I never had a webcam, and um, well, I did, but it was like a really old, like fucking like 240p fucking potato quality webcam. Uh -huh. So I never used it when I was doing Let's Play stuff, and I was always True. just. You know, I just playing games and stuff, and people are always wondering what I look like. I'm just like, guys, I'm nothing special. I'm just some nerd. Right, and literally um, just chilling. And then I got a webcam, I think, for Christmas or my birthday, the C920. And the same one I still have to this day. Ooh. The C920. That's the one I got. And, <laughs> C920. Uh, and, and uh, streamer camera. <laughs> hey, you said it on me. <laughs> and uh, I was going to say it. And I had a friend who was a YouTuber as well. I, I networked a lot with a few other, like, smaller. I only had, like, a thousand subs at the time. And I had a few other uh, YouTube friends. And this one was, like, a vlogger. And she would just make vlogs about like in her room talking about whatever. And um, I can't. I, I asked her. I was like, "Hey, do you mind?" Because I was, I was, I was telling her I was going to do a face reveal. Do you mind if I like do a prank where like you pretend to be me for like a minute or two? You don't have to talk like me. You That's just have fucking to. Fucking comedy. Yeah, it's like really cringe if you really think about it nowadays. It's like, just but all kidding, she did. I'm actually a fucking man. <laughs> no, oh she God. didn't. And basically, it was like a two-minute video where she like put on like glasses and like, uh, like 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 a gamer girl, and just like, "Hey guys, it's me, that oh, one rebel." No. Hey guys, oh, no, no, no. and um, uh, I, the video got post. I posted it, and it was like really ed poorly edited, <laughs> and like really shittily done. And like it sounds my like a fucking shit post. It is a shit post, and my uh, my uh. fans believed it. And so I got like a thousand views on the video when normally I get like 200 and that, like so many people were super like, oh my god, I didn't DMing know you were a girl. You. Yeah, they started DMing me. They're like, damn, hey, you're a hot girl. girl. What you yep. doing? Not joking. I saw someone <laughs> found... a picture of you. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't do that. Uh, a guy found my Facebook, because I had a Facebook uh, group just oh, for no. my YouTube and, I, and some 
some uh, very handsome black man uh, DM oh, me. Boy. And he said, like, damn, girl, I want to clap those ass cheeks. And then I DM'd him back and I said, like, bro, I'm actually a dude. He's I'm like, a dude. He's like, bro, I don't swing that oh, way, bro. Oh, no. Bro. So, um, <laughs> swing that way. And, and the worst, the worst part of the whole thing was not just, like, the catfishing part. Um, I had actual other girls that played game, like, you know, girls in the community that played games, uh, email me uh -huh. privately and they were like, you're such a huge inspiration. I can't believe that you're using like a voice changer for like three years uh and you're pretending to be a guy. Cause I talked in all my videos <laughs> all the time. So they just thought I did a voice changer. So they, <laughs> how stupid do you have to be? I don't know. It's because I, no I, offense, I, but... I, I do accents and I, my voice would go up and down like all the time. So I don't know people thought I was like doing a voice changer for years or whatever. And mm -hmm. these girls were like, oh, I'm so, you know, you're, you inspire me to like, because I don't talk in my videos and I'm thinking when I get a webcam and show who I really am and I'm not going to be afraid of, of you know, I'm a, if I'm a girl on the internet or not. And I was just like, oh mm -hmm. my God, this is so bad. Like, they don't know no. I'm actually a dude. Fuck, uh, just leave them on red. Don't say anything. <laughs> it was an email. Don't you can't tell. yourself. You, you can't tell. But anyway, a week later. Oh my fucking God. Or a week or two later. I came out with a video with my actual face and I said like, listen, that was actually a joke. That was a meme. I'm actually a guy. A I don't know how meme. you, it was a meme. And a lot of people actually were pissed at me. Like they were just like, bro, what the fuck? fuck man. And I actually lost like They're 20, mad because they could smash. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> mad because good at smash. Oh no. It was funny. It's okay, but... Rebel. Yeah, that, was, that was many, many, many years ago when I was like 18. I'm 24 now, so that was a long time ago. Many, many years ago. Many years ago five when I was 18. Years. Yeah. <laughs> like five years. Seven. Old man. Seven. Okay, that is a long time. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Ugh. Anyway. It's fuck comedy. So when are you going to do a face reveal and then you just like, just the chips comes out of nowhere. And just like, <laughs> hey, I'm oh, full Coda. I didn't fucking soup that. I didn't soup that shit up. I face revealed uh, my first stream. I was like, damn. so fucking I don't give a shit. I'm not going to glorify it. what I look like. Nah. Oh, okay. They were like, hey, what you look like? And I was like, turns on camera. They are like, oh, cool. Whoa, a grill. Like... A grill that plays gr a <laughs> grill? Damn. Yeah, I was like, I, I wasn't like super a big thing back then when i first started streaming because when like, did you start i was just kind of chilling uh bored when i first got vr in like 2017 2018 or something i didn't want to stream because there was that whole stigma with uh all the females being around stuff. oh yeah 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 you know, going in the alley, coming out partners. So I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna refrain from streaming. And uh, finally, people started pushing me to, so that I just did it, and I heavily avoided the uh, accusations <laughs> of everything. <laughs> kind of did my own thing. So yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, I was, I was pushed to stream too. Like I said, I was a YouTuber, so. I was already recording everything I did in VR chat, and then uh, I didn't. I never. I was just too lazy to edit the videos because like, I had like ten hours of footage every day because I would just play like all day. And then I was part yeah, of right. Team Five, so uh, Bro, they, they to told be on me this bitch every fucking day. Yeah, I remember exactly. Seeing you on all the time. Yeah. Like, why the fuck is he still on? Or shot brother, I'm still on. <laughs> Messages, yeah. When you used to have the fucking Kenny avatar, oh my lord of mercy. Oh. No. Yeah, I was the I was the one outlier of your chat. They're just like, why is this uh, fucking hillbilly redneck playing this goddamn game? Dude, it was so fucking funny though because you'd come in at the best times at like 3 a.m. and everyone would be like, "Rebel, shut the fuck up." What's up, brother? <laughs> What's going? <laughs> what hell yeah, brother? Cousin. Cousin. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Falcon a lot, K-Cone. What's up, brother? T-Po. A K-Cone, like brother. Moment. We were like K-Cone, brother. TwitchCon 2017. 2018, yeah, 2018. Yes. Wow, that was good times. Good times. Good times. And then I became a okay. uh, THOT, I became a thought. Same. <laughs> Relatable. Except like more of an RP, THOT. <laughs> oh, you, wait, you suck, you suck wiener in the RP? No. Oh, you, you. That's not allowed, sadly. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, on our own time. <laughs> oh, of course. 
That's when, that's when it gets the ERP where it's like entertainment Ex roleplay. <laughs> the cringe shit. The, the cringe. monkey yikes. Oh my god. <laughs> monkey yikes. Do you believe me if I've said I Ain't never it. actually ERP'd in this game? No one believes no. me when I say that. Okay, I well. don't believe you. I mean, seem like one of the DGens. What the like hell? What? Listen. <laughs> listen. The internet. You just hey, type dude, in been Google. There, done that, man. The listen. only reason I can say it is because I used to be one. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> okay. I've been okay, to those okay. lobbies, but I never, I just, I just look for two seconds, and then, like, I, I, I can never... Yeah, bro, why, fucking cringe uh, shit. Oh, whatever, I don't, I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just say there's some things you wish yeah, you no. could unsee. <laughs> I'm just like, god yeah, damn. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. I wish I could erase yeah. that part of my life. Exactly. Holy. But, um... My first uh, actual real question is, how did you get into uh, VR chat? Like, initially, like, how did you find out about this game? Oh, fuck, it was by... Who was that guy that... Hi? Uh, he's a YouTuber. James Key? Nags, 20, 21? I think it was, it was probably James Key. It was someone who was going the around chat doing, in like, nutshell? the meme avatars. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. The VR chat in a nutshell that's videos, the one he, and then yeah, I got he's on the, the one desktop. That. <clears throat> Then when I like looked, I was like, oh my gosh, more people stream this game. It's mm -hmm. not just him. So then I went to Twitch, and that's when I found like Rob and fuck like Arcadum and Stealth was the last one I found. And then when I was in game, I was in a public lobby and I met Rob. And then Rob brought me into the old RP, like back in the day where we'd all get in the pug lobby, just yeah. fuck around for like four hours. Yeah, that's how it all started. And then I just kept getting on. And then I got VR. Now I got full body. I don't even use it because <laughs> I'm so lazy. I don't even have full body. I'm trying to get funds right now to get full body. I don't know how long I'm gonna last Dude, until it's I'm worth just, it. Until I'm just sleeping it's like on the, the floor. It's the best VR chat DLC. Exactly. So good. That's what I want to use it for. Definitely I, worth it. I'm using it because I want to get more active. Like I'm not like overweight or anything. I'm just like a skinny oh, yeah, you'll nerd. Sweat. <laughs> but like i, I want to like learn how to dance and stuff and i feel like if i mean i could just buy just dance and you know get a connect but like who wants to see some skinny nerd go like hey guys hey. so what me and the guy i'm talking to do is when we're bored we get into vr like in full body and we'll just like go to places and dance you know like turn on some music and just dance for people yeah go to the it's void really club fun. it's a super like not the Void Club, more like, uh, probably, what's that one world called? The talent show world? Open mic. Open mic? We that world We go in there, we just dance, now. and we're all, we, we, we fucking get a workout out of it. It's so fun. Recommend Hell it. yeah. Very wholesome. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. Just mess with, so or just fun. like even for, this, dude. yeah, <laughs> just, just like for RP too. Like, I wanna, cause like, I feel like when I'm in RP, I feel like I'm limited. Oh. Cause I can't kick people, I yeah. can't like. I don't know, do weird... I can't fucking use my full body with Ori because she has skates for feet. That's complicated <laughs> to, like, move in full body. Does it have a custom... Uh, uh, does it have a custom animation on it? Like, when it you walk? Does. Oh, so uh -huh. you actually Backwards skate. Backwards and forwards. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just like yeah. Zone. Zone has skates, too. Where I, they, just, like, I just fucking, like, go like this. <laughs> the fucking arm movements being cringe as fuck, but making it look good. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw your character, it reminded me of, um, what's that old, like, PS1 game, or PS2 game? Just Set Radio? Uh, it's when you're on skates and you just graffiti shit all the time or something. Oh, fuck, true, yeah. We were thinking <laughs> about adding, like, LED trails behind it, but mm -hmm. it'd be too unoptimized to work. Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. Let's, let's talk That's about, let's talk about Cal's Row. You know, you and I Some are in that. Row. That's so, a great uh, fucking topic. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what have you done in Kalos Row so far? You're like, well, actually, what's your <laughs> character? That's the first uh, uh, question. Uh, I can probably change into it if you like. Oh, my immersion. Increasing. Your, m m m okay, never. Oh, you wanna? You want me to change into no, it? No, you don't have to. I just if if it's okay, too cool, much yeah, of a hassle, like, eh. yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh her name is Oriana. She doesn't have a last name. She's an augmented human who used to be a prostitute at a brothel near Callus Row. Oh, uh, hell she yeah. She got a little bit too greedy. Yeah, right? Learned how to use her body. Uh, started moving up. 
uh, getting more rich and rich customers that would come in. And then uh, in the end, one of the big uh, corporation suits from Mars came in. He had a little bit of a kink for robot parts. Oh, females. Yeah. So he took her in as a as an escort, uh, cut her legs off, replaced them with cybernetics, Ooh. used her, and then tossed her away. She couldn't work back, back at the brothel because she has robot legs and no one's into that. So uh, she is now in the process of enacting her revenge. She had to get a job to support herself, so she uh, customized her feet that were just regular robot feet, and she got them custom made into skates, and now she is a, like, male lady for Callus Row, who also delves more into the black market type shit, so if you ever need anything smuggled in or out of the city, I'm the one to go to. And yeah, yeah, she's just a jaded bitch who's trying to kill the guy who stole her legs. Pretty much it. Nice. <laughs> That's, I didn't actually know that. a lot that. of inspiration from uh, that one show on Netflix. Love, Death, and Robots. No, I haven't watched it. To snag a piece of it for her backstory. Interesting. It's pretty solid. Do you know what my character is? I think it's pretty obvious, though. I just work at the shop. <laughs> it's a mechanic. <laughs> the Whisper Lady. The Whisper Lady, yeah. Do you actually know why I whisper? <laughs> that's, what, that's what Ori calls her. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know in and out of character yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, I have to whisper at night. So when the role play is at that time at like nine o'clock, I usually have to start whispering. But I actually incorporate it into the role play by um every every RP session I go to the hospital or the clinic and I get pills. Now these pills are just be able to help my throat be able to talk. So in RP it's like, oh my parents haven't gone to bed yet out of character so I can now talk. Oh if the pills don't work, then I'm just gonna whisper the entire time. Or whatever. It's kind of like treatment. I mean, yeah, it works. You need to do shit like that. Like, yeah. There are some people that can't talk because of this stuff, and then they'll just say that their throat swells up or something, and they can't talk because they have to save the energy. Yeah. I made my character uh, very good at like socializing, but then I have to whisper all the time. <laughs> so it's like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a great, it's a great uh, what are they called? Flaw? Yeah, flaw. Yeah. Well, I have a greater, I have a bigger flaw than that. I don't know if I want to spoil it. Oh my God. It affects my whole character. You I can't know? spoil Ori's. Yeah. yeah, same. No one knows what my biggest flaw is. I can, I can, I can, I can spoil her edges, but I can't, I can't spoil her flaws because they're parts of her backstory. Oh my! You mean the edges are like what you're good at, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, mine's just being a mechanic and like sneaking around. That's about <laughs> it. Being agile. Uh, Ori can ingest <clears throat> a type of oil. That she will find later on, which isn't really a spoiler because I'm gonna be getting it pretty soon. An oil. Uh, I'm gonna have it custom made. Yeah, she eats, she like drinks the oil, and it powers up her skates so she can go speedy, super fast. Oh, I have some industrial lube. Of time. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> They're like jet powered. Electrical. Oh, I'm not joking. I actually gave industrial lube to the brothel. They bought a whole. I have a huge like Gross. canister, and they bought it all. No yeah. wonder the place was so slippery and disgusting when I went in there. <laughs> Making money. Oh my god. Dude, Kelly to... Siren's character is flirting with mine so hard, and I have such a crush on her character out of character, so I'm like, ah! She's so cute. Well, she is. She's a talent she's the for being singer. able to sing. Yeah, she can sing. Yes. If, if a woman can sing, I'm automatically in love with her, just by default. Yeah. So when she started singing the uh, that one song from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I was like, well, I have a lady boner now. Thanks for that. Oh, you have a phantom boner? Me too. Yeah, right. Phantom yes. boner. Yes. I started saying that ever since I uh, rebranded my channel. and People didn't understand what I, <laughs> what I meant by that. I, it's, it's me making a joke about... Oh, not really. Maybe it's... I shouldn't say a joke, but it's when people, you know, have phantom limbs, right? So I thought to myself, what if you had, like, a phantom boner? Because this character obviously doesn't have that anymore. So, like, a phantom boner. I had... I get phantom... Phantom boners all the time. So I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was the whole joke about it. But, um... Yeah, Catalyst for real. Uh, there's been a lot of interesting moments, like uh, when the Mars people came and they Fuck. attacked. Oh my god. Or when Becky fell down the fucking trash... Fell down the trash chute. <laughs> oh, it was like oh, last no. episode. Yeah. God, that was so fucking funny. 
she's laying there and I'm like, I like spit in her face just so like that last bit of fuck you and she's just like, ugh, what the fuck, male woman? I love Murder <laughs> Crumpet. She's fucking hilarious. Exactly, yeah. I, um, I think it's funny because like people in uh, Murder Crumpet used to wear the least amount of clothes and now I do. So people are like, you should just work, you just work at the fucking brothel. I was just like, what do you mean? I work in the fucking <laughs> garage, dude. Like, come on. I can be hot it. and successful. Fuck yeah, you. what the hell? I'm trying to breathe here, you know? Like, Jesus Christ, I'm sweating Ori... ballsack. Right? Ori is like the most clothed character I've made. By far, oh. and that's because she's literally in a full suit of cybernetics from Damn. head to toe. No skin showing except for her face. Feels bad. You can have, you can have ro robo skin. No, there's gonna be like a casual outfit that I will get made eventually, where she's okay. in like a I don't know tank top and shorts or whatever. The fact Whoa! Of something simple. A tank top. I haven't decided yet. Never seen one she's of gonna those look before. like she dresses like a boy though. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Um, my next self is actually gonna probably be the most conservative outfit I've ever have. It's not really for roleplay. Really? It's it's for um interviews. Mm -hmm. So. Hell yeah! Is it gonna um, be like a secretary outfit? <laughs> um, it's if you ever played League of Legends, uh, Fura and their headmistress outfits, kind of like that. Ooh, yes. So it's like so nice it's like biz nice yeah, choice. it's like a business lady. So I'm gonna Very look like nice. a, I'm gonna look like a business lady, not this outfit, because obviously this outfit doesn't fit for when I do interviews. But it's the only outfit I have. Well, I have two other ones, but one's a swimsuit, and that <laughs> that's not really for interviews. And the other <laughs> one's where I, where I look like a biker. So I don't know. I just picked this one because fuck uh -huh. it. But yeah, the next oh, one. That's really nice. Um, it's gonna uh, who, be who interview. made that JJ. Um, she will when her when she's you know her commissions are. I made the one you have now. That shit's fucking yeah sick. So good. Your uh, model was actually the reason I followed her on Twitter when I saw it. Cause I oh, was really? Like, Holy fuck. Yeah, I went and followed her. That's how I found her was through your model. Hell yeah. Good content. Yes, yes, I make good. I, I, I have lots of personality. I am lots not... Lots of personality. Uh, yes. Why are we falling back into this voice? I don't know. Sometimes I do random <laughs> stupid stuff like that. True. Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Boner. Yes. True. That's a good game title, to be honest. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid. What a, what a solid game. It's like Death Stranding, you know? Haven't played it. Me neither, but it was... Sadly. It, it might win Game of the Year. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like the game I would enjoy if I was, like, tipsy or something. <laughs> I have to be drunk to play this game. This walking simulator. Drunk or on something. Not sober, I'll say that. Okay. Or at least like really tired, so I can just enjoy the landscape. I like the most thing I like about the game is not like the walking. I like the music. I just I just like listen to the True. album. I like the music. I also a love lot. Norman Reedus. So that's probably Norman the only reason I'd buy it. Norman Fetus. It's me. Norman Fetus. Imagine I if met him in real life. Oh nice. Yeah, he ran into me on the side of the street at Comic Con in New Orleans and almost fucking knocked me into the road. It's oh epic. shit! He was like, "Move, bitch, gal." No fucking way. joke. No deadass. <laughs> he was like, him and his security guards were like running or like speed walking out of the convention center, and I was walking in and I had I was looking down at my phone like an idiot, and I just get fucking oh, shoulder clipped. I was like, "Oh my god!" He's like, "Are you okay, ma'am?" I was like, "I'm Bam. totally okay." <laughs> Damn. Because he was uh, that was when Walking Dead was like fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 2014, Nowadays, 13, <clears throat> nowadays it's whatever. Fuck it. Show's um, trash now. Yeah. Imagine uh, if Silent Hills was ever made of Norman Reedus. Ugh, imagine if Silent Hill was turned into a TV show that was actually fucking good. Wait, That'd what? Really good. Wait, there's a TV show for Silent Hills? No, imagine if there was one oh, that wasn't there trash. Was I mean, there was a Silent Hill movie. It was kind of weird. But it was alright. If you're talking about the new one. Oh, the new one? Oh, I, I was went in the really with a very one. open mind. Oh, the old one was great. Movies like, like that, I go into the theater rip off with all, no... Rip off all her clothes and rip off all her skin? I was like, whoa, shit, bro. Amazing. I was like, great that's Great cinematography. Nice. Um, yeah. I mean, I kind of I wish they revived Silent Hills, to be honest with you. I think 
It's one of those classic horror games. It would games. be a good time. Yeah. Especially if VR come like VR, you know, being a thing. Imagine if it did came if it came out, I would hundred percent they would probably put it on the PSVR. Or Lord, Steam. If there was a Silent Hill game for <clears throat> VR, I would be on that shit. Yeah, like, it's a VR chat. Winky face. Winky face. Yeah, it is, but it's not, you know, something you know, an actual game title. It's just like a little map. But um Did you know? Are you big into Resident Evil? Kind of, not particularly, like 50% maybe. Okay. It's because uh, it was leaked uh, earlier today that uh, Resident Evil 3 is getting remade. Or like the. Deadass? Like, yeah, they showed it. Well, it's, it's pretty oh, obvious they're going to do it. It was pretty obvious they're going to do it. They made Remade 2, and then they made some weird like multiplayer version of it. It was like really bad, called like Resistance. It was like ass. <laughs> and then. It, um, was. It, was, it was really bad. And then. Um, Resident Evil 3, everyone thought it was gonna, it's gonna be remade, right? The last one came out like 20 fucking years ago, so like, mm -hmm. you know, it, it makes sense. And it's just screenshots of like the box art. It, it, it was released on the PSN. So what I think what's gonna happen is that the Game Awards, they're gonna show a trailer and then either it's gonna come out 2020, like early 2020 or 2021. Cause uh, almost, every, almost every Resident Evil game for the past like five or six years has always come out typically uh, early, early year, like, January, February. That's mm -hmm. when um, Resident Evil 2 Remake came out. It came out early 2019. Like a long time ago. That was ago. so fucking good. So they're probably gonna... I would be, it'd be really good if they released it early 2020. I think that'd be really nice. Resident Evil, it's using the same assets, right? The same engine, the same everything. It's just different player models. And you, you go to the, play, or the PlayStation anyway in the game, so it's just same assets. Like, you don't have to change anything. Just with Jill. Yeah. So. It's gonna yeah, be fun. Gotcha. And then Nemesis instead mm -hmm. of Mr. X. It's a good time. Mr. X. X gonna give it to you. That's right. X gonna give you. It's always very X scary. Give it to you. So, one question I have is how did you create your OC? Your character represents your channel, your brand. Fucking word. Uh, uh, my first, like, model I had on here had green mm -hmm. hair, so everyone just associated that with me. Uh, I met Shonzo when he was still pretty small oh, yeah. on Twitch. And uh, it was right after he made Chips' first... No, it was before he made Chips' first models. He made a model for someone that I cannot remember, and I was obsessed with it. So, I commissioned him for about eight different models throughout the Damn. time that I knew him. Uh, yeah. And... It was just kind of boring. We just kind of fucked around with it on Unity until it's how I wanted it. And I have like 10 different versions of her. And my channel is actually currently going for a rebrand in how my OC looks, which will start next year. So. Nice. I didn't know that. I, I knew that uh, Shanzo made um, Chips' like, first model, but I, w I didn't know how many other people. I actually people... have the most Shanzo avatars for one solo person to this day. Nice, holy shit. <laughs> there was a meme in his chat to where if people type my name, it would say Shanzo will be making, and then it's a random number for Alcona avatars. <laughs> I was there like every fucking week commissioning him another model. I never commissioned him. Uh, I thought about it when I was uh, rebranding uh, for this character. I had a couple mm -hmm. options. I was either going to pick uh, Shanzo, uh, Janomu, uh, who else was there? Lara, and a few others. And I ended up going up to Nomu. Yeah, they're all really good. So JJ's like top fucking here. Holy shit, fucking bride. Yeah, all the anime oh. waifus, man. So that's what I ended up going with. Good shit. The 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 only issue is that she's very busy. So like me getting another model would probably be like it'd yeah, probably man. be 2020. It won't be up for a long time until I get the interviewer. I am not fucking worthy. Ah. You know, like that's how I feel. I'm like, oh my god, that's like. I get just as much enjoyment of seeing her make other people's models, you know? They're just so yeah. good. <laughs> so fucking good. Can you even still commission? Uh, yeah, you can. I mean, well, right now she's on a long... This is reading from the chat. Um, she has a long waiting list, yeah. and then she's going to have public commissions, and then those are probably going to be eaten up in probably like five minutes. <laughs> so True. I might um, have to hop on that shit. And it's, it just doesn't say when it's going to start, but... Yeah, hopefully I get a spot. If Keep not, a then I'll wait. For that you know? shit. Yeah. <laughs> but 
But um, yeah. Uh, God, she, would be I think right now she's working on three models because she posts on her Instagram. If you ever Holy follow her on fuck. Instagram, and she's working on three different. She's on Instagram too. Yeah, but she posts this. on um her story like working on stuff. It's really cool. Fuck yeah, that is so. Working insane. on a model for uh, I think Jakey, and then I don't recognize the two other people's models. I don't know who they are. Uh, I think I know the other one, like one of them, but I don't want to give a wrong name. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. I I, I do feel bad because like I, obviously I understand like for me as someone who's who's worked with her. I understand mm -hmm. why she can't accept so many people. It's because it's just too much, like stress, yeah, right? Like she's have like a full time college student or university, yeah. And um, yeah. she's got that, and then like she has to do school and all that shit. And then like she always tells me how like she has to stay up like super late and like she's tired and like Ugh. getting no sleep. And I'm just like, holy fuck. And then like the worst thing is when Maybe like people take a break. and when people pressure her. Like let's say like. Uh, She's no, making I'd a model for some... fight somebody. Yeah, there's just there's people that were like pressure and be like, that, I need this I like, model done by tomorrow. And she's I don't like, give a shit what you want, bitch. Like you can wait. This exactly. is a masterpiece. You don't rush perfection. This like, this fuck? model, um, I first had it started before Kels Row, and it was ninety percent done for a long time, and I waited two additional weeks, and I didn't run. I didn't want to rush her, so I waited. It, the I wait model's like years. literally. <laughs> 90% done and then like I didn't say like yo finish this right now I was like I don't need to get this finished anytime soon like if you want to take an extra time You shouldn't time. be telling anybody that yeah. unless you're you, you employ them they are your employee exactly. Then you're allowed to rush them when they need to get something done but you're that's, not her that's the way I treat you know? it The same thing of artists too like whenever I get art done It's also fucking rude <laughs> Exactly <laughs> If you're gonna ask her to hurry up be nice about it Oh I don't I, I, I never can... Any model but I've ever then, gotten done do I never rushed anyone, <laughs> even for art. Like, like I might ask for an update, just like, "Hey, how's the art going?" But I would never be like, "Yo, I need to get this done like fucking tomorrow." What the fuck, dude? Yeah, no. Usually, I do the commission and then I leave them the fuck alone until they message me because exactly. I know what it's like to work for commissions or work on commissions for people, mm -hmm. and it's fucking stressful. And the last thing I want is someone rushing me in my DMs or being like passive aggressive about it. That would turn me off, and I wouldn't want to finish it. You know? Mm -hmm. exactly. Just don't be fucking rude, be patient. It's not hard. <laughs> so I got another question for you to change the topic. Uh do you yeah. so you attended TwitchCon, right? This year and last year? Sure. Yep. So um did you go to the VR chat meetups? I did. How them. how were they? Like when you went to the first one, the second a lot of people have been telling me like it's like massive, <laughs> like there's like three times the amount of people. It, there was definitely a stark difference between the amount of people that were there last year and this year. Uh, a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. Um, first time there was like maybe three, four, five hundred people. Mm -hmm. This time it was more close to fifteen hundred. And uh, it was fucking wild. There was so many people there, and I can't remember everyone that I saw. So <laughs> I just, I get really bad crowd anxiety, so I kind of tend to go oh, yeah. sit off to the side. And wait for people to come say hi to me, or if I see them, I will wave. But yeah. uh, I don't really do the whole make a big scene, run at someone, and hug them stuff. Just not how I am. But yeah, they they were okay. Okay, I was just it's asking because I I've never been to any yeah. of them. Like I've done these so many fucking interviews now. I don't like almost sixty. Oh, you love it. If you haven't been to one, you're gonna love your first one. The first one was fucking phenomenal. I got to meet so many people. I got to meet Jakey in person. Nags. Oh my god. So fun. So great. Yeah. Uh, I, I might plan to go for 2020. We have to see XF College starting up in you January. You better. I'm going to be fucking 21 by then. And we're all going to get fucking oh, drunk shit. as shit. I mean, I'll you're be 25. I'm an old man. We're going to die. So just be prepared to like of course, drink I, and Oh, die. I know that like <laughs> the parties get wild. I know for a yeah, fact. Yeah, bro. I threw... Through one of the bigger parties for 2018 at my Airbnb and got a little too much, so I probably won't. I won't be doing that again. Uh, it was like last minute, and like we dropped like $600 on alcohol. And we had like oh, 100 shit. people coming in and out all day. Fucking somebody passed out in the backyard, like in the grass. Yeah. There was a hole busted in one of the walls that I had to pay for. Never. <laughs> 
never again. What the fuck? Never again. Holy Some random shit. passed out of my bed, and I literally had to get them out physically. Ugh. It was fun, Jesus though. I had a great Christ. time, minus those, like, three things. That's wild. It's great. Good yeah, fun. The, the boys tell me about all the, the, the Airbnb parties where people just start playing beer pong uh, and it gets this wild. Year, well, this year was, like, a lot more chill. I was kind of just vibing with, you know, my roommate, David. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and then, like, our little friend group that we have. So, like, Khan and Frisky and fucking Zephyr. Pookie was there, we had like a whole bunch of does it. We kind of just chilled this time. We we went over to midnight for a little bit one of the nights just to chill out. It was a, it was fun. Good time. Yeah. Yeah. Nags always always he's always talking about how he's like the best at beer pong and he's like, Oh you bunch of zoomers. Oh, he's not fucking lying. Really? If you go on my Twitter, there's a video from Pac South where he came down to San Antonio. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were in the Airbnb that we all got into, and he came visit that night, and we got fucking shit based just playing beer pong over and over and over again. It was like we called it like millennials versus the Zoomers, and the oh, Zoomers yeah. was like one of my friends, and then another guy that I knew IRL, mm -hmm. and then it was Nags and David, and they fucking oh, demolished yeah. the, the boomers, man. The younger guys. Listen, between boomers. the two of them, between the both of them, they're like... If you add their ages, they're a they're boomer. Like six, <laughs> no, they're like, yeah, they're literally a baby boomer. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, oh, that's damn, actually dude. really funny. You combine yeah. them into one person, they're actually a boomer. Oh that's no. Way. It's the boomer he's strength. He's gonna get mad at me for that one. <laughs> hey man, that just means he's wiser, man. You gotta respect your elders. Right. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I feel like... Good um, lad. Dude, I don't know, I just think it's funny. Uh, like, just thinking about how uh, Nags and Chips, aren't they close to the same age, or who's older? I actually don't even know. I have no clue. You know, I live with a guy and I don't even know his age. <laughs> He's 30-something, that's all I know. In his 30, that's all I've been told. Old yeah, enough. Know. Yeah, he's old enough. <laughs> old enough. That's old his enough. answer. Okay. All right. I was just curious. So I thought I thought yeah. maybe Nags might be the older one, but I'm not too sure. I have no fucking clue how old Nags is. I think I'm I think he guess told like 31. me. No, he. I think he told me that he was closer to his forties. He would say like, "Oh, I'm gonna have a midlife crisis soon." And I'm like, "What do you mean? Doesn't that mean you have to be 40? He's like, uh, <laughs> "I've already had like five of those. <laughs> oh, I'm still shit. going." <laughs> How is it like to you live know, in, a, in a in a house of, a, of other streamers and stuff like that? Is it fun? Well, seeing as it's just me and him, we honestly barely see each other. Oh, what? Because he's either... Because we have this big house, right? Yeah. I have one room. He has another. There's a bunch of vacancies. We're going to be getting roommates pretty soon. Oh, okay. But yeah. uh, complications with the past to where it's just me and him in the house now. And... He either is in his computer room, which is all the way across the upstairs from me, or downstairs in his room. And I don't yeah. go in either of those rooms. I don't go in his bedroom at all, because that's just me. I don't like people coming in my bedroom. I don't go in... Ow. I don't go in other people's bedroom. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Uh, but his office is, like... My room is, like, all the way over here. My own personal little second master. Mm -hmm. And his office is all the way on the other side of the stairs. So, we... Unless we want to talk to each other, we don't see each other. <laughs> Damn, I'm what constantly the hell? working all the time too. I, I so thought I'm it never was home. I thought it was like offline TV, you know, where it's just like a bunch of streamers going like, "Yo, dude, so let's <laughs> hang out together." And, and let's it will like be next year. This make is content not or something. The, I don't know. Yeah, this is not the uh, desired living arrangement, just because we were expecting to have more roommates by now, but oh, okay. which happens. So makes sense. We will be getting another roommate i think at the end of the month but i'm not sure because it's tied to david so okay not coming from my mouth it's coming from him are you uh are you both full-time streamers or yeah both of you have jobs him yes he is full-time me no i don't have the mental capacity to stream 24 7 it was literally depressing me having mm -hmm. to do it so i was like you know what i'm gonna go back to you know my other job 
Yeah. So I went back to Starbucks and yeah. Hell yeah. Only moving up the chain. Hey, one day you're gonna be the manager of Spar of Starbucks. Two more years and I will have my own store. Hell Two yeah, years. you can push those sixteen year olds around and say, bitch, better make that fucking coffee good. I'm gonna be the best shit. I mean I'm gonna be the best manager that I'll ever have. You gotta what, send a text and there's nothing to do. Go what ahead. do you What do you do after being a manager? You just own like a whole bunch of chains, or just like? Uh, so go from owning one store to then becoming general manager, which you can have all the stores in a location, and then you can be uh, the manager yeah. of an entire state, and then the manager of a region, and then CEO. Pretty sure that's how it goes. But don't you have I to go to school? To, to, don't you have to go to school to like learn corporate? Uh, Yes, if you want to be like CEO type shit. Okay, but there's probably I was a limit. Stop at store manager. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They make six figures. Yeah, that's more so, than I mean, enough. I'm fine with that, man. They make like a hundred and twenty something dollars. Holy oh, shit! One hundred twenty thousand dollars a year or something. Yeah, but you got to take care of a bunch of idiots. So I mean, that's oh, a yeah. trade off. Yep. Got to train for it. You got to be a piece of shit. True. I feel like Hopefully every job be... is kind of like that. Any job that's um. You have like people work under you. It's always like that. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're a, yeah. you're a leader type, even in, even if it's for streaming, like I feel like any any leader, you have to be somewhat of an asshole, or otherwise you're just pushover. Yeah, with me, I escaped an opportunity to like actually get really big with my streaming uh, mm -hmm. because of the fear of being labeled a leech and like a I twitch. I heard that term in a long time. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So that was when I got really popular on Twitch. Uh, that was blowing up really bad, like with uh, all the shit with Quazy and them. Oh yeah. So I was terrified. I was like 18, and I just started streaming the game, and I was like, um, I'm good. So I like kind of cut back on the streaming a little bit. Started showing everyone that I'm not this random girl. That I've just popped in here to get views. I actually want to be friends with guys. Mm -hmm. And that's how Stealth and I got so close. Because I, you know, wasn't a fucking piece of shit to him. So I think I think what's interesting is I never watched any of those streams and I never I never really watched chips. Mm -hmm. Ever. I like was the I, same way. I think I only watched during like the nuts and like that was it. Like arc and uh, then like I never after watched that. his RP. And then I, 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 was a part of it. I was never a part of it because they would stream at like three o'clock in the morning when I had college. So I was like, I was never could yeah. be join. Otherwise, you would just have random. Like, what's up? <laughs> just fucking out of nowhere. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, season four just ran so fucking late every night, and that that was when I was still streaming full time, and I I could stay up that late. But nowadays, it's like I'm really grateful that all of the RPs start before. Or like 12 a.m. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have early shifts that I have to go Cal to. Cal's starts way up. Way, I, way, I yeah. work full time. So it's really fuck hard for mm -hmm. me to get, go to RP sometimes. And that's why I don't stream it anymore. Because I literally have no energy. And yeah, I yeah. don't want to stream something that I do fun. You know? Because then I it think, becomes a job. I think for me. Uh, I I met. I got to know Chips just before season 4. I think, I think it was mm -hmm. you, me, Miss Marora, and a few others. And we would go to that um, Silent Beach map, and we'd just hang out and talk. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. And then after that is when season four started. And then I, at yep. the time, I was the pimp, so I already had a bunch of dan. I literally had a Discord called Kenny's Pimping Ring. <laughs> yeah, I remember that shit. You asked me to be one of your fucking dancers, yeah. and I was like, "Do I look like a dancer to you?" What do you mean? <laughs> What's wrong with being a dancer? I don't do all that shit. Okay. Hey, Jake is a good dancer. Yeah, she is. She's great. And, and I mean, to be honest here, I didn't actually know when I first got into that world. It was roleplay. I was actually just being Kenny. <laughs> like, I was just like, we're, we're just, hey, I got God, some dancers here. God, that shit was so... It was good, but that was like <laughs> the deep fucking cringe serious RP. But it like the good kind of cringe, you know? I was like, it was the, like, I was the joke character. Files or yeah. Some shit. Uh, I didn't I didn't take anything serious. I was just being myself. So whenever someone tried to be like a god RP -er or like just say some mm -hmm. stupid shit, I was just be like, yeah, okay, bro, you're mm -hmm. taking too many shrooms, brother. You just smoke up too much joints hey, or brother. something. Gee, <laughs> brother. 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 Listen, brother, brother business brother, is brother. booming. <laughs> I see all these <laughs> da ladies dancing on the stage. 
Ouchie. That's when I got like super serious with my Volcona character. Like I actually fleshed her out to be an actual roleplay character. Went under her backstory and everything. She's about to be retired because her story is coming to an end. Oh man. Sadly. Feels bad, man, but yeah. it's about time. She's been alive for a little too long. <laughs> yeah, Kenny K. Kono was just a normal human being and somehow he survived of all these gods running around. <laughs> What a, space what a, with a fucking vampire and a fucking yeah. vessel. Yeah, and this mafia guy named Nags and has like 50 kids. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Oh my god, I remember the first time I met Nags was when he was doing that kid roleplay where he had all the little odorans following him around. Oh god, yeah. I fucking had an odoran model that had uh, knives on it. And I went up and I fucking slashed his leg and he like fell down. He's like, what the fuck? It was so funny. The first impression of him was me fucking cutting his Achilles tendons. <laughs> so these good. these were the classic moments that I enjoy about VR chat. Mm -hmm. Just having gun. The ones that aren't fun. streamed. Yeah, some of them are not They're even so streamed. Good. It's just random stupid shit fun where you just hang out with your friends uh, and just fuck around. I think that's I miss what, the old days with yeah. like summers and them. Oh Boy, yeah. That, that was my content right there. Those were my fucking like go to make me fucking laugh and make my stream laugh guys. With Summers and like Zybruda and fucking uh, Bonesaw and all of them. Mm -hmm. God, they were so fucking funny. I don't know what ever happened to them. I think they just quit. Oh, they're just chilling. Oh, I, I don't know. They're in Discord all the time. They just don't play VR chat anymore. A lot of people have like retired a game. I retired yeah. it for a long time. I haven't. I still play the same game for almost two years. Am I the crazy? entirety of season three of the RP, I just didn't play VR chat. For a long time. Just desktop. Whenever people were online. I kept myself busy. I just kept doing stuff. Talking to people. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Am I crazy? I, I, I literally have not stopped playing this game. I just... It's alright now. Like, I just needed a break for a little bit. I'm gonna be taking another one after this uh, end of season <clears> 5. <throat> or not season 5. The end of this school year in Ascension. I'm gonna take a break out of VR for a little while. Oh yeah, I, I did do. Really uh, migraines. I, I did an interview of a bunch of the Ascension Academy people. Yeah, I'm fucking sad. I missed that shit. It's yeah. Probably sleeping. Yeah, or probably. At work. <laughs> One or the and other. And then um, they they showed me a tour of the whole map. I was like, holy shit, oh, this place is massive. Dope. Yeah. Hell so yeah. I also highlighted it forever on my channel, so I can just like go like, oh shit, like it's huge, like what um. Hell yeah, I'll go check that Karita out. That and every, like yeah, they showed me like oh they're like. They showed me like what the next episode where they're like designing like uh what was it like you can kill rats and stuff and get like items yeah a lot something. of fucking work goes into yeah every so I was just episode. like what the Nothing heck is ever just thrown together dude Karita's <laughs> a fucking powerhouse David's a fuck powerhouse they're exactly. constantly they're hold on let me look are they in there right now ten bucks they're already in there right now planning shit uh, uh yep there he is. All of them I, are in there I talking could have been it. Sure it's funny because I'm actually in that in that Discord. If I don't do anything. You should uh, apply to be an extra. And then I could. Can happen. I could. It's I fun. thought about it when it's when uh, fun, be, before season five started. Uh, I, I did actually was thinking of doing it, but then um, mm -hmm. I was more invested into getting into uh, Kalos Row, and then I don't know. Yeah, Kalos Row is. Yeah. is Ascension's my first priority, and Kalos Row is a very very close second coming up to be equal with Ascension. Every single episode just gets me mm. more and more sucked into that RP. Exactly. But Ascension, I'll never give up. Because it's just too fun. Yeah, I get what you're saying. That's why, um, I mm -hmm. don't know, for me, I just want to focus on Kalos Row. I mean, maybe uh, at some point in time, maybe I'll just join it as an extra or something. Something stupid. Kalos Row is the one that I can be more freely creative with because I know how to work around Arcadum's, you know, restrictions and stuff. Would... Yeah. With Ascension, I have to be a lot more, uh, what's the word? Concise. Scripted? I have to, like, oh. yeah. Scripted, definitely. The, there has to be a, you can't just go off on your own tangent type shit. Cause, yeah. Uh, there's a system. That's so. why I like Kalos Row. Because uh, I, I always picture it, whenever someone, like, is like, what's Kalos Row? I'm like, it's like GTA RP, but, like, Cyberpunk. Yeah. And, like, 
you know, you just sort with, of do uh, your own thing. Guidelines. Yeah, with guidelines. That's and, like, kind of how Ascension is run, except it's not GTA RP. It's kind of like Harry Potter RP, but yeah, Hogwarts. slightly better G Gary's because mod, we involve other Harry things. Potter. RP. Gary's mod Harry Potter. That's a good comparison. <laughs> so, because then that's so fucking trash. <laughs> Gary's True. mod Hogwarts. It's fucking Dumbledore. Oh my God, oi. What are you doing? Uh, Dumbledore. <laughs> oh no. I'm Professor Snape. You fucking idiots. Get back to class. Oh no. Yeah, Ascension's my. The Death Eaters are coming. Favorite thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like Kalsra a lot because I don't know, just it just I feel like I'll. God, it's uh, so fucking fun. I feel like a bystander a lot because I don't <laughs> personally um nice get involved with everything. So like, because uh -huh. I just made I developed my character where I'm not like a hero. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like, oh man, I'm gonna step in and like save this guy. I'm just like sitting yeah, there I'm a watching. Snoopy bitch. Yeah, so I just I go like, and stick my nose and everything. I'm like, what's uh, going on over here? What y'all doing over here? What y'all doing over here? I just want to know um, what, everything that's going on. Uh, when RG or what's his name, RJ or RG or whatever, he beat up Becky. Yeah, I, King I, Depresso. Oh yeah. my fucking god. I I actually just stumbled. I was up 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 on the catwalk and I was just walking by and then I just looked down mm -hmm. and I just see him like beat the shit out of her and just walk away. I was just like, what the fuck? And then fucking Karita's character Dash puts her in a fucking trash bag and then dumps yeah. her down the trash. <laughs> and then drops a box on her head and then my character goes in there and fucking spits in her face. I didn't see that part. I just saw the whole part like getting beaten oh, up. Oh, it was, was so like, fucking funny, fuck? dude. She's like, what the fuck? You're gonna spit on me when I'm already down? I was like, yeah, you deserve it, fucking bitch. And I fucking walked away and she's like, me, 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 me. And then what Good was, uh, I forget who it was. Who's the person that owns the cake shop? The guy, not the girl. Z uh, z uh, ah. Takimaki Zuzuki. Takimaki Zuzuki, Mr. Takimaki. What? I don't even know his character because I never talked to him, but I, he kidnapped. His name is, I think, I'm pretty sure it's Takimaki Zuki. He kidnapped Becky in the wheelchair and took her all the way to the subway oh. system. Was going to dump her in the fucking sewer water. <laughs> and then, um, and then it got stopped at like the last second. Poor Crumpet. Yeah, I was just like, what I mean, she fuck? deserves it for the character she's playing, but holy shit. She's a secretary <laughs> to the bank me. now. She's a bitch. <laughs> exactly. Fucking bitch. I think it's just interesting, the development of characters. I do feel bad for, um, what's his, the guy who owns the arena, Arjun. Because they, oh, they, they, they yeah. haven't had a fight for a long time, so I'm just like, dude, you need to, like... Cause dude, it, that... I was thinking about it. I was going to brawl with fucking Becky. Like, I was... Dead ass, but then she broke her fucking knee, so now I could do it. And I was like, fuck. Can't I use the arena. Because I, I went down like, there to the um, arena. I was like, this looks so cool. Yeah, I feel like um, he needs to develop something like where maybe you fight a beast or something. Maybe an AI, or I don't know how mm -hmm. you do it. Something something else. Maybe someone that like plays cage with a fights? monster. Yeah. Have like a lion. Like a cyber lion. That'd be cool. Robot Definitely. lion. They have to F kill it. Fighting things. I'd fight that shit. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, my character is set up for failure because I, I work on cars, but no one owns a car. <laughs> so I, mean, I have to. I have characters to. Could be tied. I mean, my character is I've more. Had... Um, I have to like start doing other things, so I have to like now like fix doors and like really like random stupid things. So that's like. Well, it makes jobs. sense for me to go to you if my skates ever fuck up because they are motor vehicles pretty much. They have engines in them, so. Whenever they break, yeah. I would. I was all planning on coming to either you or uh, whatever the fuck Jack's mechanic shop is. One or yeah, the other. Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's all about cybernetics. I I made yeah. my character so more about like not non synthetic, so like just like machines and cars and like doors, anything mm -hmm. mechanical. But when it comes to like actual like robots, like the claptrap, I wouldn't really know too much about it. But maybe I'll make my character learn more about robotics because it seems like yeah, no, it would still be I don't, good RP. I I don't know if anyone actually. I don't know if is Doctor Z like Doctor Z the crazy doc? Isn't he the only one that actually works on robots or some shit? Uh, do you mean Kazuki's character or Maraschino's? Uh, his name, I call him Dr. Zed because he has a Z on the back of his lab coat. He's does crazy. he say, does he, does he talk in like a French accent? Yeah, he talks like a German French guy. Yeah, and he like is in the Undercity. Yeah. With uh, yeah. The, the little, little country girl that talks like this, Grease Palms. Yeah. Yeah, that's Kazuki and Band-Aid. 
He's the crazy I, doctor. Who I don't know. If the, I don't think it's. I don't think she's playing it. Claptrap. Yeah, they're, they're trying to kill Claptrap, and they're like, "Why don't you fix him?" <laughs> I'm like, "What the fuck? Like, what do you think I am? I work in cars." People need to start going to Jack. Jack's the one with the cybernetics. He knows how to fix exactly. synthetic like machinery and shit. Exactly. Go to you if they need like. Cars and doors and. A door fix. Door fix, fix my fix my fucking. I did. I did fix Electrical a lot of doors. panel. Yeah. Dude, you're gonna have to fix uh. Uh, Rook's panel to open his door because Talus busted it open when we heard gunshots down there. Oh shit! It was well, like bah, bah, bah. I fixed the clinic the shit door. Of it. it was so good. Yep, we broke that. Yeah, I, I fixed <laughs> it for them. I got some money out Break of it. Break a lot of shit. Fuck. Hell yeah. So I want to move up. I want to like so I I purposely made my character only have a small apartment and like kind of live like just like making it a buy. So I want to like have RP where I sell stuff. So I'm selling like industrial lube and like random dumb shit and fixing doors to get mm -hmm. money. And then I like move up to get like a medium apartment and then like maybe move up uh, beyond wherever that is. Whatever beyond that is. I don't know what, what that would be, but let's keep moving up. I don't know if that means no, move out. I, I don't think it'll be moving up corporate, but just like. Just yeah, definitely don't rush it. Becoming rich. Uh, it's going to be a real long RP, pretty sure. At least yeah. a couple months. Or so I could hire more people. Because right now it's just me. Yeah, you don't want to uh, jump character. the gun. Yeah. Well, jump, I, jumping the gun ruins uh -huh. the story for you, and you're not gonna want to yeah. repeat the character anymore. I, I feel like um, the wasteland hasn't been used yet, or it hasn't been made it yet. Hasn't. So when people go out to the wasteland, like to like you know drive cars or whatever, I'll be the one to like be like, yo, you want to rent out a car? And they Hell come yeah, to there me. you go. So I have business whenever that works. Yo, Laxy, thanks so much for the host slash rate. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so yeah. I'm hoping that um, the wasteland opens up because, like, technically, I'm literally the only one that owns a car besides this, the clinic with the ambulance, and that's it. The wheelchairs. That counts. Your car oh. better look fucking cool. That's all I can uh, I mean, say. if you've ever been to my shop, I have, I have, like, a fucking... I don't know, I have like a trash fucking I haven't, actually. car, I have and then there's like there. a nice looking car in there. So I have two nice cars. I have a bunch of like parts and stuff like that, just like tools or stuff like that. When people are trying to kill um the Mars Mercs, um, mm -hmm. no one broke into my shop, but they broke into Phil's shop, and they stole a bunch of like hammers. And they were just like beating the shit out of them with like screwdrivers and stuff. What the fuck? Yeah. And then I had a crowbar, so I, I took out my crowbar, and I could I was gonna beat up some people. Yeah, Whatever crazy shit fucking happens. Exactly. Callus Row is like a ticking time bomb. You never know when it's gonna blow the exactly. fuck up. You're just chilling in the bar, and then all of a sudden this guy walks in, one of the fucking suits from Quixote, and he's like, "Hey, what's up? Exactly. Uh, you're too young to be behind the bar." And then he like pulled a gun on Bay. They pulled a gun on him, and she fucking oh, shot him. Shit. And he starts shooting all around the bar. Like, if people got hit, they would fucking die. So, <clears throat> then, um, Talus was there with me, which is the glow stick looking guy with the, the brand yeah, on his face. Yeah, I call him face. Space Boy. Yeah, Space Boy had his uh, shield and sword and uh, was deflecting the bullets, but then he got shot in the arm. So then I went up and I tried to, like, disarm the guy, and he shot at me, and it whizzed past my head and hit Cleo. So then I'm like, fuck, Damn. and Talos is like, get behind me! So then he, like, shoves the guy upstairs and fucking just mutilates him. And he died. Wow. <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't there for any of that stuff. I'm just fucking talking to people. It just happens, people. dude. It's, like, not even planned. Like, that was total improv. Oh, yeah? That's crazy, though. We were like, holy shit. Dude, yeah, yeah RP kind of follows certain people around, and uh, mm -hmm. Spaz Coca is definitely one of them. She was minding her own fucking business sitting behind the bar, and this guy fucking walks up. I mean, you for, are too young for me, to be behind the bar. Um, I'm trying to get involved into like the bigger stories, like uh, like the hunt of Charles. But I have no idea when that. Oh was, yeah. That's gonna happen. So I have no idea. No clue. Because um, there will definitely be more events that happen. So yeah, because I was picked to be the chances. driver because I have cars. <laughs> so I was just like, it'll probably okay. be next episode, to be honest. Maybe. When everyone's gonna be there. I'll just be driving my... That'd be fun, though, because, like, I actually know how to drive, like, in VR. Like, 
Like I do a lot of like the driving <laughs> maps in this game. So Hell like yeah. if if we if we actually if we actually physically drive, like if I have to go in the wasteland and we actually drive, I'll be a pretty good driver. I'll be like, yo, let's go, brothers, let's go. Let's go get in the car, brothers. Get and then the like car, if, if if they start like fucking up and like I don't know, maybe I'll ditch him. Like, oh shit, too much heat. I gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> goodbye. But, Oh leave them shit! In the wasteland. And then they ha they take like an because hour to, to walk back. If you fucking leave Talus in the wasteland, I will personally fucking beat you up. Ori will not be happy with you. <laughs> no, we'll see. It's gonna be a bitch on bitch My battle. My character's in the not arena. a coward, but you know, we'll see what happens. I don't think uh, it's. He also right. doesn't want to fucking die for some randoms that are in Kellis <laughs> Row. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just here to make money. <laughs> if I get paid, I'm fine. Exactly. Why am I supposed to die for these fucks because they're not in the truck fast enough? I get exactly. it. I do the same shit. But Ori's not going to be happy if you left her, uh, her friend in <laughs> the wasteland if she finds that out. Public enemy number one next to Becky. Hey, man. If, you, if, if he dies, you'll never find out. She would. I don't know. <laughs> because cause... he wouldn't show up anymore. Uh, I'll just be like, I don't know. I mean, that's good RP, dude. I don't see a problem with it. Let's see, I don't have any. Just actually, I for don't. A very angry lady I, with skates. I don't think I have any enemies besides. I think everyone just hates Becky, but I don't, I don't think I'm pretty neutral for everyone. <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of discord between uh, me, Duncan, and Talus right now because what Duncan's been doing. Even though we were all chummy in the beginning. Friends with everyone. I'm friends with the brothel. I go there every day. Or Same. whatever. <laughs> so I just go My there. My character has a huge girl crush on Kelly's character. Yeah, I go there because I'm just like, well, people are just standing around doing nothing. I might as well go to the brothel and just get a dance. True, literally. <laughs> so that's what I end up doing. I'm just like, hell mm -hmm. yeah. Fuck fun shit, dude. I'm really excited for Friday. I always am. I do interviews and then, yeah, I plan on doing an yep, interview yep, yep. with with uh, Cal's, a bunch of people from Cal's Row. So not just one on one, but like oh, an actual podcast. Oh my fucking lord! Podcast. I'm so down. I'm so down. Yeah, I have Twin to. Twin would uh, be super down too. I need a, I need more people to sign up, and then I'll, because if everyone signs up and selects like, uh, you know, all their days or whatever, then I can. Yeah, I'll force like, Twin to fucking. Yeah. Do it. Get, get a lot more people to be like, hey. These are the days I'm available. Then I can line it up like, okay, all these people are available on Saturday. There we go. Makes it easy for me. Rather than me DMing literally 30 people and then mm -hmm. having to keep If you need someone to help you with that shit, I'm down. I'm really good at scheduling. Oh, it's no. I'm, uh, uh, I have Google Forms. So every time someone submits, um, it, it literally collects all the data and puts it into a, a spreadsheet. Oh, dope. You don't even need help. You got fucking... Yeah, I got the spreadsheet Thanks, you already Google. set up. Yeah, thanks, Google. And then all I do is I just call, like, mm -hmm. Control-F, and I put Saturday, and then it tells me every single person that's available on a Saturday or whatever day I pick. Nice. That's dope. Yeah, so I'm I'm pretty well organized with all this stuff. The only thing job. I really need to do is, like, probably remake this world better. This is just, like, a standard little world I made in a couple hours. I think it's nice. It's basic. Very homey. Got a nice audience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The reason why, okay, Chilling. when I was making this world, I, those audience seats do work. It's just um, the few times that people have come in here, not all the time, but a few times when it, really early on, like people are just being disrespectful and being rude and just like distracting yeah. me. So I decided, ah, oh, fuck, Welcome. I'm not going to have any people. So. Bye bye. Yeah. Rude as fuck. And more people, most people just watch anyway. Cause like if you're sitting there, you're just going to be watching. You're not going to be talking or anything. So like, uh -huh. might as well just watch the stream. Like it's in a, <laughs> if it's like a farther away set of audience where you can't hear them talk but they can hear you that'd be nice um you can set that up yeah. where yeah karita knows how to do it to where if you step on a certain part yeah uh, it so amplifies your it's voice. a collider so if you're like in a box yeah. a visible box just like uh with the broth but we're uh kelly singing you can uh, do that yep yeah. oh pretty dope uh, so we're coming up on almost one hour now. So if anyone wants to ask uh, Falcon or I any questions, we'll take them yeah. now. Everyone just is like, catch a ride, brother. Catch fix, a ride. Fix my toaster. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, I interact with a lot of characters. It's just funny how like people are always just like, oh, don't you work at the brothel? I'm like, what the fuck? Do I look like I... Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> Hey, listen, okay, this is based off of Final Fantasy 15 Sydney, okay? She looked just like this. 
Okay, buddy. And she worked on cars. Whatever helps you sleep at night. And it's true. <laughs> Man. Um, well, people think of their questions. What's one thing you would like to change about VR chat or add a feature to this game? Latency. Okay. Yeah, it's that's the only a thing issue. I would want to change about it. Latency and lag. FPS. Stuff like that. I'm a huge stickler for FPS. Uh, what character did she play as again? She plays as the male woman. The green yeah, one. Was, yeah, the green one. That was like Jet Set Radio. I think that's, a, if that's the game I'm thinking of where you skate around and do crazy flips. Yeah, I got like the, the fucking cyberpunk glasses and the cyberpunk yeah. like mesh suit. I got a bunch of medic bags and shit on. Yeah, people said uh, when I was making my character, they're like, "You don't look cyberpunk." And I'm like, "Well, I like playing yeah, normal you humans." You look all right. <laughs> yeah, the goggles I, really make it look well. Looks good. I, for me, I, 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 whenever I'm in a role play, unless it's like it's medieval or something, obviously you can't just be like, well, like you're fucking from the 20th century, yeah, century or some exactly. shit. But like for me, I like to um, role play as just as normal humans. Uh, I find it more interesting to play as, as just like a generic human than as like a mm -hmm. whatever alien. I mean, obviously aliens are cool too. Just for me personally, I like yeah, to play Yeah, this is the first humans. human I've played in a long time is Ori. They feel like um I usually I, play elves. I, I, I feel like a lot of um people who role play they, they, they give themselves powers that they rely on, like oh I can hear people's thoughts or super hearing or some something uh, like an edge or that. And yeah. when I just role play as a human, I have to just act like just like me. But like you know, I work on cars or whatever. So like I have to um I don't rely on powers to do things, so I have to like I'm sort of like handicapped. So I'm, it's more harder and I have to like talk to people and socialize and build bonds and you know mm -hmm. not just like oh i'm super powerful i can kill you in two seconds or something like that or right go invisible mm -hmm. or whatever yeah i got you so i, I prefer to play as a human also it, it gets Humans more like fun. it's more relatable too as a character like oh i'm a human you're a human what's up dude mm -hmm. what's going on sup fucker I feel like in every roleplay you should have like one human and everyone else is just like some weird thing. That's why I chose to be a human because there's literally bare minimum of just regular fucking people. Exactly. I had to spice it up a little bit, but you know, mostly human. She's got all the human parts mm -hmm. except, you know, like legs and feet and thighs feels bad, man. No, no thick thighs for Ori. Yeah, Those I got them thighs. thick thighs. Oh, did you like yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> did, did, did you like it when um, last uh, episode I was just doing squats in the street? Like randomly? Dude, I don't know what the fuck you were doing. I think I like stared at you for a good minute while you were doing you, that. Do you know why I was, I was doing like, that? like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> the I can't reason, remember. Okay, the actual, actual reason why I was doing that is because I jokingly been doing this for a couple weeks now because I want to get an index uh, to be able to get full finger tracking and then full body. Ugh. So I told my stream, I was like, listen, if, if you subscribe to me or donate or whatever, I'll do squats. I'll sell out. And then people I'll are fucking like... I'll do squats. And then people are like... Oh, because uh, I was role playing. They're like, "Oh, you still have to do those squats, dude. You can't wait until the role play ends and just sit in front of a mirror and do it. You have to do it in the role play." I was like, "Okay, fuck it." And then like a guy kept uh, one of my donators kept donating to me. He's just like, "All right, do twenty squats, and you have to." He said like, "You have to do it in a crowded area, and you cannot tell why any why you're doing it. You're just exercising." I was like, "Yeah, I'm just exercising." So I just <laughs> people are just like getting beaten up. I'm just like, "Yeah, let's go." <laughs> That's fucking funny. Just that yeah. crackhead in the corner fucking doing push-ups and sit-ups and shit. Yeah, so uh, oh I went God. to the cake that shop so and I was funny. and there's like a line for waiting to get like food and I was just doing squats. I'm just like, oh, I'm waiting in line. I have to do squats. I'm just exercising. Just working off this this <laughs> cupcake. That is um, so funny. And then I went to H shop, the convenience store, and did the same thing. He's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm just like, I'm just, I'm waiting for, uh, you're busy. I'm waiting. I'm just doing squats. I got to yeah, work shopping, out. Yeah, shopping, bro. Fuck you. Yeah, you walk while you're doing them. <laughs> yeah, That'd so funny. I, it was funny because, like, obviously last episode was kind of a chill day. So, like, it just me being silly and Yeah, I do and... dumb shit. I did so much fucking just dumb out of character shit <laughs> yesterday. Or not yesterday. Last episode. Just because we exactly. weren't 
serious, but then it got super serious at the yeah, end. Yeah, people I had getting to, like, shot and shit, and Becky getting nasty, and I was Bruh, like, what the fucking, fuck? Bruh, fucking, fucking, uh, Static's character going into that big bitch robot mode, and fucking... Oh, I didn't see that up part. Ori. But I did, I did, oh, um... Bro. I did hear so that... So, this is what happened. So, like, not to cut you off, but... To TLDR... Yeah. Talus and I heard gunshots coming down in the bar. Mm -hmm. So we busted open the lock and we got in by Talus beating it with his metal hand and just, mm -hmm. just fucking boom, boom. He opened it. We got down there. Nothing was there. And then we look down and we see like all of like the stairs that lead down to wherever the fuck it goes. Mm -hmm. And we see them fucking sprinting up because they thought someone broke in. So we're like, shit. And we fucking book it out. Rook's fucking pissed because we broke in. And then the static sh statics character turns into this big ass robot, and she gets in Ori's face. And I'm like, "Come on, motherfucker!" It was so hectic and good. Yeah. Good shit. That's some crazy shit. There was a huge fucking like species battle there with uh, not species, well like oh, shit. The, the cybernetics versus the living, and like how cybernetics don't just. Like, if they're malfunctioning, they need to be shut down, and they're not real people, and stuff like that. And my character's super what fucking fuck? racist towards robots because of what happened to her. Uh -huh. I don't like really necessarily playing like that, because I'm the exact opposite. I don't care what you are. But having to play Ori the way she is, uh, it's kind of a struggle, having mm -hmm. to pretend to be that. Because you don't want to say the things that you're saying, because they're hurtful. But and then in the end, it's yeah. RP, so you just need to suck it up, so... That's pretty cool. much it. I get what you're saying. It it, it, yeah. it gets it gets pretty wild in role play and people people are always just like, what the hell? I, I remember in the old RP Why days. Why did you say that to my character? Yeah, what, what the hell? my feelings IRL. Damn you. Listen, dude. Fucking I'm asshole. Pissed. I I can't I can't differentiate between RP and IRL. <laughs> like calm That's down, really man. calm tonight. Of course it is, dude. We're playing characters. Out. Yeah, we're just hanging out. That's why I played a character nonstop, so everyone knew I was role playing. Or maybe people, think, maybe people. Yep. I actually thought I was just a hillbilly in real life. They're just like, yeah, this guy's just a hillbilly. <laughs> he just bought nah, VR somehow. I knew you were faking one night because you were super drunk on VR and you dropped your voice. That's how I found out. Oh shit. He went sup, and I was like, what? What's up, Excuse dude? me, and you're like, I mean, sup, brother. <laughs> sup, shit, brother. I was like, no, nah, I fucking heard that shit. I heard you, and you're like, no, oh, no, 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 no. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's whatever. Same thing with Khan when he dropped his Morgan Freeman accent for the first time. Oh, I know that he wasn't actually sounds like Morgan Freeman. There's no way, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously, but then when he dropped it, everyone was like, holy shit. My RP. Up, what the My fuck? immersion. I'm right. actually, like, loving this background, by the way. Oh, you like all the, um... Yeah, all the, the skyscrapers with all the fucking LEDs on them. Fucking yeah, dope. they're all signs and billboards and stuff. I haven't updated this world in a long time besides adding the It's really cool. Thing. The Christmas I like it. tree. Yeah, I'm getting a I'm getting a poster done. Uh where it's literally yeah? like drawing like this set and then like my character in the in the Oh, that's uh, cute. I'd love to see that. What do you call it? The business suit, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. And then I'll eventually get it as an avatar. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Woo! But yeah, I, I plan on maybe remaking this world either by myself or I can pay someone to do it. Um, but not right uh -huh. now because I'm trying to save for index. So, yeah. True, 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 true shit. So, um, we've been going for over an hour now, and I like to ramp it up at around an hour. So, I'm going to give you the camera. I'm going to uh -huh. put it on you. And if you want to shout yourself out, say whatever you want, plug yourself. Um, I'm fucking dead, dude. Oh, you don't, don't, you don't, shit, don't Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. All right, no problem. Um, just not so, my style. I don't do that anywhere. Okay, don't worry. I I always give people opportunity. If people like are like, yeah, who, are fucking, you, who are you? Who are you interviewing? A plus to you for that shit. Of course. A plus I, to you. I always give people respect. You know. Yeah. Treat, treat others the way you want to be treated. Pro tip. Pro life exactly. tip. Exactly. Treat people with respect, but treat you words. with respect. If someone's gonna be yep, yep, a piece of shit to yep. you, then I'm not gonna treat you like uh, a god or something. You know. I'm gonna yeah exactly. exactly a bit calmer of course um all right then well <laughs> on that note then i'd like to say uh thank you so much volcano for stopping by and hanging out with me and talking about rp and random stupid stuff and whatever we were talking about you know it's always fun just to sit back and just have a nice conversation about something so again this is me that one rebel and i talk to late now for rebel and we do this almost every single night so yeah 
I'll Hell see yeah. you on Friday for Callus Row. Um, yeah, dude. This Same. is the awkward part where because this is a stream and I don't just end the stream because I do other things. Um, there's one last thing we have to do, and that is to take a sure. picture, and then I can go on your yeah. way. Just give me a second here. I need yeah, to turn off the cameras or the chair. Yes. Yeah, I always take a picture of every uh, guest. Whoops. There we go. Flip it around. Where am I coming? Uh, the camera's where is it right, at? right where my finger is. Cool. So I got it. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <sighs> Alright, take always take two, by the way. Pro tip. True! There we go. I got it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Keep, you. Yeah, thank you so much no for you. stopping by. Yeah, no you. No you. No you. You're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. Okay, John Wick. <laughs> right, I'll, yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Peace out. See you in Callis Row. Bye. Love yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. I don't really want to ask questions because I like to make